Okay, so here we've, uh, we've looked at several rules of differentiation, um, the power rule, the quotient, um, the product, and the rest. And uh, there's one more that we need to uh, know, which is the chain rule. And this is very important, especially if you have a function um, which, is, uh, which is embedded in another function. For example, uh, suppose f of x is given by um, sine of, say, x cubed plus 2. How do you find the derivative of that? Right? Suppose you have f of x is equal to the square root of x to the 5 minus 10x plus 1. How do you find the square root of this? Well, the chain rule comes in handy, right, when you want to uh, find the of functions like that. And so, what does it say? Chain rule says, suppose that y is equal to the function of f, but f has a function, g of x, in it. Okay? So, a function of a function. How do you find y x, the derivative of y? Chain rule says let uh, u, which is some variable, be equal to the inner function, g of x, which implies that your original function now becomes f of u. Okay? So to find dy dx, the chain rule says dy dx now will be equal to dy. Now y is a function of u, it depends on u. So find dy u and multiply by the u dx. So it's as if uh, the u cancels out and you have to y dx, right? Which is what you need. Okay? So really this is basically the, um, the chain rule of differentiation. And you'll come across this again. It's very important you, you like the basis. So let's do um, a few examples to illustrate this. Suppose that f of x is equal to, um, let's say, x squared plus 2x all raised to the power 2. Okay? How do you find the derivative of that? Okay, so let's use the chain rule. So you have a function, x squared plus 2x, but this is squared. If this wasn't there, it would be easy, right? You just apply the power rule. But because of that, you can use the chain rule. Chain rule says, let u be equal to the inner function, which is x squared plus 2x. This implies that your f now is equal to u raised to the power 2. Right? This is now u raised to the power 2. Okay, good. So df dx by the chain rule now becomes df du f is a function of u now, right? du multiplied by du dx. Okay? So now, the f du is easier to find because we know how to apply the power rule here. du dx is easy because this is just a polynomial and we apply the power rule as well. Okay? So this is equal to, so the f du, I'll write them separately, the f du will just be 2u, right? Remember that u is given by this. So this is 2 times x squared plus 2x. Okay? And then du dx, du dx will be equal to the derivative of this in a function with respect to x. Derivative of this is 2x, and derivative of 2x is just so we have all the ingredients. We know the f du, we know this guy, we know the u dx, which is this guy. So substitute this in there and put this in here. And that gives you the f dx. So when we come here, we have a solution to the derivative of f. So f prime, so this implies f prime of x or the f dx will be equal to the f du, which is this, fill up, 2 into x squared plus 2x, right? Multiply by du dx is this, that is 2x plus 2.
So that is the derivative of this function. I mean, you can simplify it whatever way you want, but that is the derivative, right? You could pull out two here. That multiplies this to give you four into x squared plus two x, and then x plus one, right? And you can pull out x here as well if you want. So that is how you apply the uh, chain rule. Let's do one more example. Let's do one more example um, that's, that uses the chain rule. Suppose now that f of x is given by, suppose f of x is now, let's say the square root of um, 1 half x squared plus x. Okay? Suppose f of x, so I'm going to make this y actually. So now let y be equal to this. What is dy dx? Okay, so we're going to apply the chain rule again. Chain rule says dy dx is dy du du dx. What is u? Let u be the inner function, that's under the square root. So u half x squared plus x. So this implies that y is equal to the square root of u. Or u raised to the power of right? Good. Which means, which means that dy du is equal to, we're going to find the derivative of this, which is half u to the negative half, right? Using the power rule, and this is half. u, remember, in terms of x, is this guy, 1 half x squared plus x raised to the power negative half. Okay? So that is, that is fine. You can rewrite it whichever way. But we know dy du. We need du dx. That is, find the derivative of this. du dx will be equal to, take 2, multiply by a half, that is just 1, so this gives us x. Plus, the derivative of x is just 1. So we know dy du, which is given by this expression, and we know du dx, which is given by this. You put everything back there, therefore you get dy, well, this implies dy dx will be equal to uh, one half, half x squared plus x raised to the power negative half multiplied by du dx, which is x plus one. So in effect, this is the uh, this is the derivative of this function by using the chain rule. Okay. You can pull this down if you want to, right? You can rewrite this as x plus 1 all over 2 here, square root of this guy. That's the square root of half x squared plus x. Okay, so that is the, uh, that is the chain rule. Um, in the next video, what I'm going to do is write down a couple of common derivatives that we need to know, all right? And then we'll apply the chain rule, the power rule, and the other rules to do um, some functions. All right, to do some more examples. Okay.